now I'm looking for a hearse. You're going to need one because Dr. Torper and my assistant Vincent are going to teach you a new skill. Consider it a gift from the beyond. We will reveal unto you how to eliminate people in your life who are, what shall we say, an impediment. And the word impediment has the same root word, ped, as in pediatric. So not only does an impediment interfere with you, it messes up your kids, which is wrong. That's your job. You rid yourself of the noxious impediment by harnessing your tricyclic occult powers. Everybody's got some, but mostly they don't know it or don't believe it. I hear an objection. I know it sounds like a death curse or a spell. I prefer the term detour. You're just updating someone's itinerary. First, select a subject, a person. Don't overthink it. Just pick the first one that pops in your head. No worries. It's not like you can only do this once. Eventually, you'll get to everyone that matters. Next, make a representation of the subject. It can be anything. Vincent is putting a lot of work into his. But I prefer simplicity. I didn't even need to cut this out, but I think it adds a little something. Reminds me of gingerbread. Do it however you prefer. If you're in a hurry, just their name on a sticky note will do. Very important, you must put the subject's name on the representation. I have to. I hear another objection. It's a voodoo doll. No, not in my method. The technical term for the representation is quintessence of the soon to be departed. Now you choose how to destroy the quintessence. For me, the most satisfying way is by fire. But be careful, you don't want to cause any damage or endanger anyone. Then, you direct your tricyclic powers to the focal point of the quintessence by giving your malediction. Once again, you can phrase this however you want. Just make sure to include the cessation of the subject's existence. Don't leave that out. That's the whole point. And by the way, it helps if you say it like you really mean it. I still get squeamish. Once successfully executed, you have consigned your subject to the realm of... Nothing. After completing this procedure, you need to take care of yourself. It's terribly hard on you. You need to get some rest and recuperate. Under no circumstances should you gallop public. Another reason not to go out in public is you'll be too tempted to brag. But since honesty is so rare, if you do tell people, no one will believe you. They'll just think you're lying even more unconvincingly than usual. Congratulations! You now know how to send someone on Dr. Torper's detour. Now you can merrily go down life's road, leaving your troubles by the wayside. A third objection. What about love thy enemy and regard someone who's giving you difficulty as a teacher? And so on. Who's got time for that? I say flush the toilet. Why strain your eyes trying to see beauty in it? You do that and you're like Dr. Hyder in some alternate version of Human Centipede experimenting with different ways of putting your own head up your ass. Armed with this technique, there are so many people you can do. Once you get started, it can be hard to stop. But don't make this a habit. You don't want to end up the last man on Earth. Come back! The beauty of my method is you have no repercussions. Forget about guilt, karma, sin, the tooth fairy, and all that completely ridiculous made up nonsense. You won't get caught. No one would believe it. There's no risk to you, and it has a tremendous payoff. Everything's gonna be all right. My advice is good, because I am also a bird certified head pecker. One final caveat, the only bad thing that could happen is if it doesn't work. In that case, nothing changes. You're in the same situation as before. Hey, it's still worth a try to send someone to the infinite. What's the
Thank you.